Mm-hmm. That's so good. Yeah, I got nothing. This is just... Wow. The hamburger. My, what a thing. The variations, sacrileges, and improvements are as numerous and colorful as lint in a belly button. But before the fire, there is the ever-important four-letter word. I'm using French Charlet cows, grass-fed and raised in sunny, sunny New Mexico. Actually, there was some speculation as to whether or not these French cows would need to wear sunscreen as they grazed. As far as patty technique goes, don't smash your patties, just form them. It's not Play-Doh, don't show off. As the meat gets to room temperature, let's have a chat about rhubarb. Originally from Asia, the Chinese cultivated it for its medicinal properties. Today, half of the U.S.'s rhubarb comes from Pierce County, Washington. Shout out PNW. Essentially, we're boiling this rhubarb in water to soften it up. We don't need the grainy sinew, so strain those out. Side note, why does rhubarb make your teeth squeak? I recognize, of course, I can just Google that, and oxalic acid. Interesting. After you strain it, add a quarter of a cup of sugar and give a lemon the old squeeze in the sauce. Now, this rhubarb isn't cooperating with me, so I threw in a beet slice to get it candy apple red, not periwinkle blue. There. Isn't that better? Now, we'll just let that reduce down until the bubbles are lethargic and hesitant to pop. Look how oozy it looks when it's all done. Now, salsa. We need three cloves of garlic, half a yellow onion, diced, one roasted green chili pod, half a palisade peach, 245 grains of salt, and appropriate salsa making music. Ooh, that's more like it. Salsa is about efficiency. When you have your abuela digging chips in the bowl whenever you turn your head and your tia pinching your cheeks and telling you, Hito, you're getting so big. Salsa becomes an act of concentration, speed, and will. Garlic is about curling your fingers so you don't donate fingertips to the cause. The tomatoes should be the only red things in the salsa, unless you're using chili piquins or something else that's red. Anyway, notch your onion and peel the skin. Onions get sliced along the ribs and diced because it's just faster. Tomatoes get very much the same treatment. Now, drum roll because I'd like to introduce you to my childhood. New Mexican green chili, the world. The world, green chili. No. It's not a bell pepper. And no, Texas, there are no beans. Just stop. I'm scraping the charred bits off this chili because though charred is a flavor, generally it's not one that treats the tongue with any amount of kindness. Last up are the peaches. Ew, what is that? Oh, <laughs> bacon grease. Saving bacon grease makes sense. Remember how the last few pieces of bacon you cooked were the best? That's because you were frying them in a quarter inch of their own grease, so why not start there? The second bacon tip I have comes from Korea, where they snip sangup sol with scissors to prevent the meat from curling around itself. I'm putting in a handful of hickory chips before laying the patties gently on the grill. Toppings ready? Check. Cheese and bun time. My grandfather informs me that the only way to toast a bun is on the grill. I happen to agree with him on loads of things, including the pleasures of fishing and the superiority of Texas barbecue, but I will disagree with him on the bun toasting. So, let's welcome some rich, buttery garlic to the party. And with that, let's grab the burgers and cue the music. Smoke is the first thing that hits you. It's got some cheese, peaches, that sweetness, that tang hitting you in the back of the taste buds of that rhubarb. That's sweet with the smoke. It's a classic rib trick. Peaches are such a star. Wow, that's so good. Yeah, I got nothing. This is just ridiculous. Look at my green chili, a little bit of spice kicking in. Just gotta hit a mayonnaise on that one. A little bit of that garlic that we put in that butter. Mm. Mm -hmm. Do this at home. Do it with that rhubarb reduction because that was money. Don't eat crappy food. Live intentionally. Eat intentionally. I'll see you guys next time. Yeah. Take this over here. Mmm!